Hey, buenos dias, que onda, que paso, amigos? Welcome back to the channel. So, I applied for a job with Harley Davidson and they said no. Stay tuned to see what happened. Ever since I started my channel, I thought it'd be really rad to link up with a local dealership. That way I would be able to do rides reviews of some of the newer motorcycles that I wouldn't have at the garage otherwise. And then in return, I'd be able to shout out the local dealership and hopefully drive a little bit of extra traffic their way. So back in February of this year, I finally got to a point where I felt like my channel was getting enough views and I had a good enough subscriber base to go out to a dealership and basically try to sell myself slash apply for a job in a sense. And so I went to the local Harley Davidson dealership here in Chandler, Arizona. And at the time I had about 23,000 subscribers and I was getting around 400,000 to like 500,000 views per month. I felt like it was going pretty well. Additionally, I owned a Harley Davidson. I had my Dyna that I was riding quite a bit and lots of people said they liked the Harley Davidson content So I felt like it was a good match So I went into the Harley Davidson dealership asked if I could speak with the person in charge of marketing They walked me to the back introduced me to the girl I forget her name, but we'll just say Ashley I thanked her for her time and basically gave her the quick elevator pitch. Hey, my name's John. This is what I do I've got my YouTube channel and so I gave her the quick pitch. I basically said, hey, as a dealership, I think it'd be a great way to get that free marketing, get your name out there. You know, this is the number of views that I'm getting. Uh, my Harley videos do really well. The demo ride videos I had done were, you know, getting consistently like 50,000 to, you know, 100,000 plus views. Long story short, I think it'd be a great way for the dealership to get some exposure. And then of course for the channel, I would be able to have the content. So it's kind of like a win-win. And I didn't know what to expect going into this, but to my surprise, she was actually super excited about the idea. She had been wanting to build up their social media presence, that was her job, and they had been wanting to link up with a YouTuber, coincidentally, to do this. And we talked about channels like Matt Laidlaw, John Maxwell, and I was telling them, you know, YouTube, it's a free platform, and it's like the, one of the best ways to drive traffic, and you're not having to pay anything for it. So again, she was excited about the idea, so much so that she actually grabbed her boss, and I think like the manager of the store brought him in, introduced me to him, and I gave him the kind of same rundown of what I was hoping to do and he was also excited about the idea. Now he told me that they would have to check with the higher ups, kind of run it up the ladder and that they would get back to me. And I will note with that conversation, I did point out, I said, look, here's all my different videos and I showed him some of the videos, kind of scrolled through my catalog and I said, I don't just ride Harleys. I've also ridden other Metro Cruisers, sport bikes, I'll go demo Indian bikes. And so I think my viewers appreciate that I'm not just gonna bring them, you know, the context of a Harley fanboy. I'm actually somebody who is willing to and has ridden lots and lots of motorcycles. But with all that being said, I can appreciate what a Harley is in the context of, you know, what a Harley's meant to be. And one thing he said though, is he said, if you're gonna be in here doing videos, you know, walk arounds, taking the bikes out for demo rides, just due to liability, we would have to actually hire you on as an employee. And I wasn't necessarily going in there for like a formal job interview or to apply for a formal job in that regard. But at the same time, I was like, you know, if that's the way you got to do it and you're going to offer me a job with a salary, I'm not going to turn it down, you know, depending what the offer is. But, uh, you know, obviously that's not necessarily what I was looking for. So we left it at that. They were going to talk to the higher ups and then get back to me. A week went by, two weeks went by, a month went by, still hadn't heard back anything. Then, as we all know, in March, the whole pandemic thing hit. And I think by the end of March, I was like, yeah, that's, it, it ain't gonna happen. You know, if I haven't heard back from them now, odds are it's not gonna happen. And I figured it could have been one of, you know, two or three reasons. One, maybe budget wise, they just said, hey, it's not in our budget, we're not gonna do it. Number two, maybe they looked at my channel, watched some of my videos and thought, dude, this is not the guy we want as an ambassador or rep in. Chandler Harley Davidson, which, hey, I get it, you know, different strokes for different folks. Or number three, with the pandemic and everything, it was just like not even on the table, just kind of fell through the cracks. I figured it was one of those, you know, two or three things. So fast forward to about three weeks ago, I was out ripping around on the DRZ and I thought, you know, I'm gonna swing by Harley Davidson, check out their inventory. It was a Thursday morning, not a lot of foot traffic. So I walked in, one of the sales dudes, 
you know, came up to me. I told him, I'm not looking to buy a bike, but just kind of checking things out. I didn't want to waste his time. He was real cool though. And we actually spent, you know, a good amount of time talking. And I ended up telling him, yeah, I came in here back in February. I do my YouTube channel, was looking to kind of link up with the dealership, never heard back. He's like, dude, Ashley, the girl who was doing marketing at the time, she doesn't even work here anymore. And I don't know if she was fired, if she quit, or if she was laid off, I don't know what the case was, but come to find out she's not even affiliated with Harley Davidson at this time. And so I thought, dang, I had no idea. And so it could be that it did just kind of fall through the cracks after she left. You know, there was no more talk about it. She was the one who had my contact information. She was the one I was expecting to hear back from. So. I still don't know exactly why I didn't get the call back or why they decided not to move forward. It could be that it just never made it up to where it needed to go. Could be that with the pandemic and everything. I don't know. I feel like I'm an optimist part of the time, so I'm going to lean towards that as being the case. Um, I asked at that time, is the person that's now in charge of marketing here? He said she's not in today, but at some point in the future, I may call or send an email, try to set up an appointment to go talk with them because Again, I think it would be a total win-win. I get to go in there, you know, ride the newer motorcycles, but the dealership in return, a uh, huge shout out, huge way to kind of put the dealership on the YouTube map, which to my knowledge, they're not on currently. And it's that's like free marketing, man. That's totally free marketing. People love the videos, the demo rides, the walk-arounds of the latest and greatest models, and to have that connection on a uh, platform where I already have like a decent amount of, of viewer base who enjoys Harley Davidson, I think personally that would be a win-win. Um, they may come back saying, dude, you ripped too many wheelies, you're too much of a dino wannabe dude, we just don't want to work with you, and that's totally cool, I understand, but who knows, maybe in the future we'll link up with Harley Davidson to do these demo rides. I'd also like to link up with some other dealerships as well, ride all the motorcycles, but we'll see what happens. So there you have it, that's the time I applied for a job with Harley Davidson, kind of indirectly, and ultimately, to me, no answer is no. So they said no, but my hopes are still high. We'll see what the future holds in store. Drop a comment below, let me know what you guys think. Would you work for the dealership? Let me know below. And if you dig the content, you can always like and subscribe. The support is always appreciated. You can support the channel through Patreon. Huge shout out to the patrons. All of those funds go to my pay it forward rides and to upgrading camera gear and equipment for the channel. But I do not need the cash per se. So if it is any hindrance or any inconvenience at all, definitely do not donate or uh, support the channel that way. Watching, liking, sharing, that goes a long way. All right, you guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Adios, nos vemos.